Coming up next, Salesian News, Asia Pacific. Hello folks, glad to have you join us for the 93rd episode of Salesian News, Asia Pacific. I'm your host RJ Brian of Radio Salesian 90.8 FM, The Voice of the Hills, the first community radio of Don Bosco Asia since 2016. This show is brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. China, Salesians mark 400th death anniversary of St. Francis de Sales and 115th year of the arrival of first batch of Salesians. Youth Ministry Coordinator Ms. Phyllis Tang reports from Hong Kong. Salesian China Province launched a commemoration of the 400th death anniversary of St. Francis de Sales on 13th February 2022. The date also marked the arrival of the first batch of Salesians, led by St. Luigi Facilia in Macau via Hong Kong in 1906. The online gathering had more than 200 participants from various Salesian family communities, including Salesian Society, FMA, Sisters Announcers of the Lord, Association of Salesian Cooperators, Salesian Past Pupils Associations, Colleges and Parishes. Provincial Father Joseph M reminded everyone that Don Bosco had a special love for St. Francis de Sales and admired his love for God and his gentleness and kindness towards people. Father Joseph also asked the Salusian family members to learn this kindness and tolerance in their youth pastoral work. Korea, Salesian Cooperators Publish Apostolic Activities Collection. Mr. Thomas Lee reports from Seoul. Association of Salesian Cooperators published its nationwide Apostolic Activities Collection recently. Of the 28 local centers around the country, 14 centers provided the activity materials and the provincial council has made it into collection. The first local center, Derimdong Center, was established in 1981 in Korea. Activities include Juvenile Classification Review Center in the Youth Detention Center and in the Group Home for Youth. In the All Nations Culture Center, Teaching Morality, Scholarship, Baza, providing food, moving oratories, accompanying picnic, pilgrimage, and so on. Now Korea ASC has more than 800 members, 682 promised members, and 124 aspirants, and many and various apostolic activities. Church Art Kolkata, a 40-year-old church decor establishment, is also specialized in church door paneling. Count on us to make your existing church doors into beautifully ornate entryway embellished with Christian liturgical and sacramental motifs. You will be amazed at the bronze finish looks of your existing wooden door which becomes water and weatherproof with no maintenance cost for longer periods. For affordable prices and hassle-free professional service, contact Don Bosco Past Pupil by email churchart.ganguly at the rate gmail.com and whatsapp slash telegram country code 91983102945. East Timor, Don Bosco Center welcomes and assists flood victims. Father Jolino Vieira reports from Delhi on 21st February 2022. Due to heavy rains in Delhi, and particularly in the surrounding mountainous areas, flooding occurred with injuries to numerous people and damage to homes and property. The Salesian work Don Bosco Comoro in Delhi took in about 150 people seeking protection and shelter. In a short time, government agencies, private companies, NGOs, and many others arrived to offer their help to the victims. Director of the Formation Community, Father Hermene Gillo Pereira, SDB, and the Dean Salesian Coadjutor, Brother Adriano de Jesus, together with the Salesians 
and the aspirant Tate Persian in the center are working tirelessly to offer the best possible assistance to the victims and alleviate their suffering. At the Don Bosco Comoro, meanwhile, new people continue to arrive as their homes have been destroyed by the floods. You are listening to Salesian News on Radio Salesian from Salesian College, Sonada Darjeeling. Vietnam rectors come together for the first post-COVID meeting. Father Augustine Do Phuc reports from Ho Chi Minh City. Salesian province of Don Bosco, Vietnam, organized the first post-COVID three-day training course for rectors from 9 to 12 February 2022 at Kalong Meditation Center. Attending the course were provincial Father Barnabas Le Anfang, provincial councillors and rectors of the communities. On 10 February, they reflected on the image of a humble servant living and working under the preventive education system. In the evening, they shared about pastoral work in Dalat and Dong Nai address. Next day, on 11 February, Father Provincial shared about the animation role and companionship of the rector in accordance with the instructions of the congregation. Afterwards, provincial economist Mr. Nicolas Q. Longho talked about the administrative role in the province. In the afternoon, the councillors presented process and activities of the departments. In the evening, they shared about the activities of the Salesians in Saigon and the Central Highlands. India, Salesian province of nation's capital, celebrates Silver Jubilee. Father Ashok Kujur reports from New Delhi. The Salesian province of Jesus the Good Shepherd, New Delhi, celebrated the Silver Jubilee of its foundation on 19 February 2022. A Thanksgiving Holy Eucharist presided over by His Excellency Leopoldo Girelli, the Apostolic Nuncio to India, celebrated the story of dreams, struggles and indomitable spirit of the province in the past 25 years. During the felicitation program, the former provincials Father Mathai Velapalil, the delegate, Father Joseph Ketyakera, Father Charles Lobo, Father Michael Pidikai, and Father Jose Matthew recall with gratitude their experiences of leading the province. Current provincial Father Davis Mani Paramban presented former province leaders, shows, and mementos. Those are the latest from Salesian News Asia Pacific. This show was brought to you by Church Art Kolkata. Enjoy the rest of your day.